guys, it's Dars, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create the letterbox effect in Final Cut Pro. So the first step is to create a new project. So go up to File, and then click New, and then Project. Now, you want to call it whatever you want. So I'm just going to call it Dars, and then uh, you don't need to worry about any of this. Keep it the same. Then uh, you want to change this. It'll be on Set Base. You want to change it to Custom. Make sure it's 1080p, uh, this is 1920 by 1080 and the rate is 60p. Once you've done that, you want to click OK. And then it's going to take you to a new project. So what you want to do from here is uh, you can go to some of the Final Cut Pro um, templates already. I'm, I'm just going to grab uh, maybe the same one. I'll just grab the clouds one. As you can see, there's some um, orange lines up here. That means it's renderings. To make it render faster, go modify and then click render all. It's going to start rendering. So it'll um, play much smoother. So basically, once you're here, what you want to do is um, click uh, over here. And then you want to click on video. And then, as you can see, there's a crop section over here. What you want to do is... Um, uh, don't worry about left or right, just worry about um, the top and the bottom. So you can make the top and bottom, um, you can just play around with those. I'm just going to say 208, that looks pretty good. So I'll change this one to 208, like that. Okay, now they're both the same. Actually, I'll make it a little smaller. 165, uh, 165. Alright, so... Now that I've got this, uh, pretty much you've done the letterbox effect, but uh, you can add your little effects into it, which are, are in the effects bar over here. So firstly, I'm just going to play it. It just looks like this with the letterbox. Uh, I'll get a transition uh, right now, and then to fade to color for the start, so it'll fade in like that. And maybe I'll make it a little bigger, so it's just, it looks a little better. So yeah, so now what I'm going to do is go to the effects bar over here. And then you want to click on all, scroll down till you find uh, any effect you want. I'm just going to be using combat. You want to drag that onto the video. And then it's going to create an effect on the video. So it looks like uh, your effect. Basically what you can do from here is add your own text. Um, like I did in the uh, copy start of this video. So you want to drag your text wherever you want. And then uh, I use the font called Tunga. So I'll have a link in the description where you can download the font Tunga. So yeah, I'll just find the font. Uh, type in whatever I want. So I'll just type in, oh, just type in Dars and then subscribe. And yeah, you can pretty much just play around with this. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Dars. Peace out.